Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. For those that haven't heard, there is a certain city in Australia where they want to replace existing pedestrian signs to so-called female pedestrian signs. That means a silhouette of a person that is usually lit up in green lights indicating that it's safe for pedestrians to cross the road or it turns red to indicate stop and do not cross because the cars are going. Now those signals have traditionally looked like this and it is going to be replaced by images like this. Now the council that wants to do this stands by its bold move which it believes will improve gender equality for residents. The change would, to quote their words, show women and girls that they are important and valued in our community. We know that improving gender equality leads to very positive outcomes for organisations and for our community. Research shows societies with greater gender equality have lower rates of violence towards women and children, we are told. And they've also added that this council is committed to a community where men and women and boys and girls are treated equally. Now I have a number of problems with this change and this line of reasoning. Now to me the original figure is a very generic representation of a human being. I mean two arms, two legs and a head and a body and well that should basically cover everyone. What's the problem? I have personally never thought, I mean even as a child, that the symbol even had a gender. Now, by saying that that figure is male, what you are saying is that only men wear trousers and pants, that women don't, and then a symbol of a figure wearing a dress, does that mean that women only wear dresses? Isn't that inherently sexist in itself? That there is only one view of what women would dress and look like? And even if we were to accept that the original figures does represent men and the one with the dress represents women, how is that going to avoid sexism by just replacing images of men with women? And if sexism means that you think one gender is better than another, then aren't you then being sexist towards men? How is this in their own words a community where men and women and boys and girls are treated equally. If especially boys don't see images of themselves, then wouldn't they feel discriminated against? And if then, shouldn't you have images of both men and women, uh, males and females? Again, to me, the original figure is just fine and represents everybody by being generic in its very nature. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts by leaving your comments below and if you've enjoyed the video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well that's all for this video. Until I see you in my next video, it's bye for now.